Soma Chopra and you're watching Perfect Strokes. On this episode, we're talking about how to stage violence with authenticity. Take notes from a director who says that he faints at the sight of blood, but he's also obsessed with it. The one and only Anurag Kashyap. Let me start with a disclaimer, you know, it's like, I, I, I faint at the sight of blood. <laughs> the violence has actually been my preoccupation in the sense, I, I am quite obsessed with the violence and trying to understand it and I experiment with it. Like violence in Vasyapur was very different from the way I approach violence in other, my, my other movies. For me, I apply the same rule with violence and for sex. It's like you don't really need to see it to create the impact of it. If you really have to do it, then do it in a very raw, visceral way. And that's, that's the rule I apply with both violence and sex when I shoot on screen. In Devdi, when you see Mahi's paro go down on Dev, the camera is only looking at the sky. I've always created things through sound more than actually seeing it. If you see Panch, I always try to keep violence off screen. But I don't like to camouflage the violence with, with any kind of a... I trust that people can imagine the worst. People always imagine the worst. So the violence that bothered the censor board and people in Panch was like the killing of the policemen and, and the dismembering of the bodies. None of it was shown on screen. It was a shot of a knife, bloodied knife. It was a shot of a doll's head. You leave it to people's imagination. You leave it to the incredulity of the thing that when they try to dispose of the body, they're carrying polythenes with them. So people imagine what's in there. So I leave it a lot to people's imagination and that's also to make them feel uncomfortable. And similarly in Raman Raghav, the entire violence is off screen. You never see anything happening. And this, the worst is always kept for them in the end. Like people don't want the child to die, but in the ugly, in the end, you reveal the body of the child. Or like the, the child in Raman Raghav, whose body suddenly revealed as was also killed. And I like the whole idea of taking people through that whole motion of what's the worst fear that they might have and take, take it till the end. Don't deliver it then and there, but deliver it later on. And it's sometimes to see how it affects them because I, I get bothered by seeing this kind of a celebratory violence that I've seen like say the mainstream movies or superhero movies where the violence is where it makes you feel like wanting to be a hero and get into a fight and this and that. So my idea of creating violence is in a sense that you create violence in a way where it literally kind of sometimes puts you off it. It disturbs you. Whereas in Vasipur, I approach violence very different. I did not want to use cutaways. I sat down with Shyamji and I said that I want to actually see it. A lot of violence scenes in Vasipur were shot single shot. We had to create it. Manoj Ashwai is stabbing the Pelwan. We had to have the same, within the same shot, without cutting away, seeing the blood come out. We gave him a pin on his ring. We gave him a ring, and ring had a pin, and he had blood balloons. And every time Manoj Vajpayee would stab, stab him, he would put a pin against the blood balloon, and the blood would ooze out. And we had to devise various ways of doing that. The beheading scene, we had a separate uh, head that was created and kept in a kind of a plate full of blood down while he took the actor and it was hidden from the camera and as if he was like struggling. We went through the mechanics of things. Neeraj Gehan did the research. I could not watch a single video. He went online and he found so many beheading videos. I could not go through a single one of them. I just, I said, I can't see it. But we worked out the science of it, how you do that. And we told Nawaz how to do it, that, you know, you cut through the skin, then there's the bone, then how do you cut through the bone with the force? And that's how you have to act while the actor was there, so it was just nothing. He was just doing it in the air. And then the body rolls over, and that was for him to hold the body. So the idea was when the body rolls over, it's like almost the weight of it pulls him down. So he would go like this, and one assistant would give him the head in his hand, and he would come up with the hand, head. So we, we would cheat and we would find solutions like that. Say in Black Friday, I did not want to see a lot of blood in the torture scenes, and torture scenes were important. I could not do that off screen. So me and Nati sat down and we decided, let's make the rooms red. So we used lighting for that purpose. The room was, there was a red room that was created for all the torture scenes. One single torture scene that was not in the red room is when he's signing the paper and his nail comes off. 
Uh, that was difficult for us to shoot as well because that was Nutty's idea. <laughs> Nutty said Neil needs to come off to put people off. So we'd do stuff like that. We'd do things which were mostly kept away, but audience would imagine the worst. It was so real. The sound was so real. Like I remember one sequence that censor board was horrified by in Gangs of Wasyapur, where Danish, which is Vinit Kumar saying, he stabs a guy in his eye. And censor board says, we can't show this. I said, no. I says, can you tone it down? I just took out the sound and the scene was okay. But Ramadhi Singh character was based on three characters. We combined three characters. Because the original character we based it on, which would have gotten over in the first half, actually died of heart attack. So we combined the three characters to make one antagonist. And we picked up the real incident where the man's body was pumped with 700 bullets. It actually happened. The anger was so much that they kept going back, brought in more weapons and kept shooting the dead long after the man was dead. It, that went on for hours. And that, that is something that haunts Vasipur, haunted Vasipur for the longest time. So it was actually borrowed from a real incident. Uh, I think uh, Ram Gopal Arma Shiva was the first time that in, on an Indian film the violence impacted me. Or say Vidhu's Parinda, that whole sequence of that wood machine where they put the guy into the wood machine when, or the way Nana Bhatia's character was used. I think those two movies were the first two movies where the violence impacted me. It stayed with me. It kind of, it disturbed me. It affected me. That chain sequence in Shiva and that when Nana comes and puts that guy through that machine, or the fire sequence in the climax, where the violence really had an emotional impact on me. For me, action and violence are two different things. And if you talk about action, I like Tony Jaa. And I like that actor from Raid. There are some really good action sequences this stage. Most of the really good action sequences I've seen have come from uh, Eastern A East. And they really know how to do great action. Violence, there's much more stronger violence that comes from Europe. And, and especially uh, the Scandinavian movies and some of these French movies that I've seen. Where they really confront violence in a very visceral, brutal way. America, I think, is always middle of the ground. They always, they have this, they always borrow from everywhere and they make it more palatable and more commercial. But they don't really, really explore violence, barring some of these very exploitation movies. Barring that, they don't really stage violence in a way where it confronts violence or it is action. They, they, they know how to commercialize everything. They're the McDonald's version of action and violence. I always ask myself the question, why am I creating this violence and how best can I create it to make it believable? I need to believe it any which way. I, I Sometimes I see a lot of amazing action sequences, superhero movies and I believe it. If I don't believe it, then there's no point of anything. Even if it is fake and it seems like too far-fetched, I still need to believe it. It's very important to believe what you're watching.